<laughs> well, would you look who's here? Looks like it's going to be a day to remember. Guys, look who the sea washed up. Ahoy there, traveler. <laughs> so Captain really did invite you to join the homecoming celebration. Hey, I heard that you took care of another crisis while you were in Inazuma. Are the rumors true? That's what I heard, too. Thanks to you, Inazuma's vision hunt decree was finally put to an end. Well done, traveler. Captain's got quite the eye for people. She said she was sure that your trip to Inazuma would stir up some waves. And sure enough... <laughs> Look at you being so modest. We all know what you did to protect Liyue Harbor. I've heard that they tell stories about you and Mondstadt, too. The Honorary Knight. Pretty impressive. <laughs> I'd say someone of your caliber would be right at home in the cracks. Right, sailors? <laughs> That's right. Wow, I'm getting excited just thinking of being the Traveler's crewmate. Hey, what do you say we arm wrestle? <laughs> I was worried you'd be too busy to show up. Oh, Captain on deck! Uh, Captain, we were just trying to talk the Traveler into joining the crew. Yeah, come on, Captain Beto. Surely you've got a way to get the Traveler on board. Oh, he's on board right now for the celebration, isn't he? <laughs> yeah, but just one celebration together is not enough. You know what we mean, Captain. All right, all right, I get it now. There is something special about you, Traveler. You earned everyone's respect, myself included. So it goes without saying that the Crux would be honored to have a crew member such as yourself. No doubt about that. But then again, a hero like yourself doesn't just set off on a journey without some bigger purpose in mind. So should a hero really drop what they're doing just to spend day after day drifting at sea with us? Well, if that were the case, then the Crux, known for always moving forward to the next horizon, would instead be holding someone back. Right. Uh, I guess we didn't think that part through. Remember, rather than seeking out strong members to join us, you should be focusing on making yourselves the strongest that you can be. If we are powerful, they will come to us. Isn't that why everyone here chose to come aboard in the first place? Yes. A strong sailor is always looking for a sturdy ship. I guess I almost forgot the first lesson you ever taught me. Thanks for the reminder, Captain. <laughs> Just be sure you all keep that in mind. Now, there's no more need to hound the Traveler, as you were. The Traveler and I have something to discuss. I'm glad you came. Welcome back aboard. <laughs> Do I? <laughs> oh, to be honest, I don't care for that kind of reputation. I don't want people to see me like some big-shot official from Yujing Terrace. But I'll take it as a compliment. I'm glad you see me as well-respected. I can't go getting too caught up in my own reputation, though. That's certainly not how the Crux made it to where we are today. As the head of the fleet, my task is to keep us on the right course, no matter how turbulent the seas may become. But then again, the crew isn't usually this riled up. It's not that they're arrogant, they're just bubbling with ambition, that's all. Their excitement today comes from their great respect for you, both your strength and your character. So please, don't take it the wrong way. All good then, great. Actually, speaking of Inazuma, I think your good luck must have rubbed off on me on the way over. I made an interesting find on the beach shortly after we parted ways. Let's talk about it over there, where it's a little quieter. So after we dropped you off in Rito, we found a shipwreck nearby probably belonged to Inazuman pirates. We searched the wreckage and found a map. At first, I thought it was a nautical chart. I was thinking we might discover a new sailing route if we were lucky. But after a closer look, 
I realized it wasn't a map of the sea at all. It was a Liyue treasure map, and no ordinary one at that. Um, nothing like that. I just mean that the map was a mess. So it was the most I could do to figure out that the treasure was probably in Lyra. As for its exact location, I have no idea. I'd say I've explored Liyue pretty extensively, but still, this one managed to beat me. So, I thought of you. Nobody can beat you when it comes to treasure hunting on land, right? Is that right? Well then, it looks like I'm in good hands. Here's the map, see what you can make of it. So, where do you think it is? Gwaili Plains. Huh, I never would have gotten that. How can you tell? Oh. Okay, then. So you do live up to the hype. <laughs> I can't believe you noticed that. You sure have an eye for detail. Let's head over there and take a look. I'll need you to help me zero in on the specific location once we're there. It should be around here, right? Hmm? Who are they? Oh, it's a bunch of treasure hoarders. <laughs> I guess the treasure's for real, then. There are quite a few of them. If things go south and fists start flying, stay behind me. I'm more than a match for these amateurs. Digging, boys. Once we have our hands on the treasure, everyone gets a share. You can all hold it right there. Huh? Who's that barking orders? Do you know who you're up against here? Keep going if you got a death wish. Uh, what the? It's it's C -c Captain B -B -B Beto. Run, boys! Run! Nobody move. Uh, Captain Beto. Lord of the ocean, this is all my fault. I didn't know who I was up against. I, I don't have a death wish, I swear. I got a big mouth is all. It's always saying things it shouldn't. I swear I'll wash it out with soap the moment I get back. Please, have mercy. Will you spare us? <laughs> <sighs> well, spare them, at least. These guys are just trying to put food in their mouths. They'd never hurt a soul. If you need to take anyone, take me. Please, let them go. It was me that disrespected you. They never did and never would. Is that right? Fine. Seems like you've got a heart in there somewhere, seeing how you treat your crew. I'll let you off the hook this time. Get out of here! Thank you, Captain Beto. Thank you. Wait. Yes? What else might the merciful and mighty Beto require? This treasure's still up for grabs. The Crux Fleet honors the rule of first come, first served. You found it first, so name your price. I can't have any rumors going around about Captain Beto stealing other people's treasure, can I? Captain Beto, we wouldn't dare take more from you. D 
Take the treasure as an apology for my foolish words. Please, take it. Please. Oh? Well, if you insist. I accept your kind offer, and I'll make you one in return. You don't seem like terrible folks, so let me help you get onto the right track. If you want to mend your ways and put all this behind you, the Crux can probably arrange some odd jobs in the port for you. It'd be humble work, but at least it'd get you on your feet and making an honest living. A much better deal than what you've got going now, if you ask me. Wow, uh, thank you, Captain Beto. On behalf of me and all my boys. Right. <laughs> Let's see what we've got in here. <sighs> this isn't what we're looking for. Let's look around. Maybe we'll find it. Those rocks look... kinda weird. Let's see if there's anything there. Nothing. <sighs> Let's keep looking. What are those hilly trolls digging for? Wait, actually, I've heard they sometimes dig for buried treasure. Let's go take a closer look. Nope, not here either. <sighs> now that we've searched all the places of interest in this area and come up with nothing, uh, you got any ideas? It's a... Uh... Captain Beto! Captain Beto! Huh? Hey, what brings you back here? Captain Beto! Actually, we've just been wandering around nearby. We didn't go far... because we were thinking about what you said and... Well me and the boys decided we're ready to move away from all of this and get on the straight and narrow. Oh? Are you sure? Yes. Absolutely sure. Okay, then. But I'll warn you right now, you won't have it easy. It might just be menial work in the port, but in the eyes of the general public, you'll be associates of the Crux. So there'll be a grueling test you have to go through before you can start. I understand. I understand. Truth be told, Captain, it's only because it's you, the mighty and honorable Captain Beto. If it had been anyone else, I don't think I'd have listened. And since you made us this kind offer, I'd like to ask, if I might be so bold, is there any hope at all for us to become full members of the Crux in the future? Even the tiniest shred of hope? Hmm. <laughs> well, there's no place in the Crux for delusions of grandeur, that's for sure. But... Then again, everybody has to start somewhere. So, it comes down to you. If you manage to impress me and earn the respect of my crew, then, yeah, nothing's impossible. Uh, thank you, Captain Beto. Thank you a thousand times over. I couldn't help but notice you were searching for something else. It still hasn't turned up? 
Why? Do you have any clues? We heard about two treasures, both in Gwaley Plains. We were still looking for the first one when you found us. So maybe the other one might be what you're looking for. Not too far from here, but I'm just not sure of the exact location. All the info we got about this treasure came from the black market. The answer's hidden inside a poem which goes like this. <clears throat> Drunkenly I gazed at the ruins long forsaken, and lay beneath red leaves whose branches cast a crooked shade. The dusk sun shone upon the sea as I awakened, but Guyan stood twixt weary eyes and the sight of home they crave. As for the ruins long forsaken part, I do know of some ruins near here. But beyond that line, I just... I don't... I'm just not smart enough. <laughs> so a treasure clue hidden in a poem, huh? Don't worry, we got this. See my friend here? If they taught treasure hunting as an art form, you'd probably be calling him Grandmaster. This kind of thing's a piece of cake for him. Am I right? <laughs> okay, then. Let's start by heading to the site and surveying the scene. Maybe we'll find some other clues over there. Uh, okay! Come on, boys! You heard the captain! Lead the way! These are the long, forsaken ruins from the poem. Apparently they were once full of treasure. But judging by the state of them now, it's probably long gone. Hmm, it seems that we need to dig deeper into this poem. Drunkenly I gazed at the ruins long forsaken, and lay beneath red leaves whose branches cast a crooked shade. The dusk sun shone upon the sea as I awakened, but Guyan stood twixt weary eyes and the sight of whom they crave. <sighs> Do you have any ideas? Ah, somewhere you can see the ruins from. So, somewhere not too far from here? Yeah. And maybe the shadow cast by the tree is supposed to hint at something. Oh, I got it! This guy fell asleep and woke up just before sunset! Dusk and the shadow of a red-leaved tree... Hmm... I think we can work with that. Let's take a look around. I think we're getting close. It. <laughs> At long last, the treasure is finally in our hands. A check from the Northland Bank. You really came through. We found the spot in no time. Without your help, I don't think I ever would have gotten my hands on it. To us, this is just a check that you can exchange at Northland Bank for some Mora. But to some people, it's of huge importance. When I found the treasure map, it was tightly sealed inside a small bottle along with a letter. I'll let you read it for yourself. Finished? Yeah. I can't fault him for what he did, but the way things turned out... All I can say is, life is unpredictable. Well, 
Let's fulfill his final wish by taking this check to where it belongs. Well, this is it. Oh, boys, it's time for your first job. Give this check to the old lady who lives in that wooden hut. Tell her it's a welfare payment from the Liyue Ministry of Civil Affairs. Yes, boss. What's up? <laughs> I see. But... You only find Sakura blooms in certain places, right? It must have been quite a bit of work collecting all these, surely. Let's just pick one, huh? One's enough to show that you care. You've already helped me out so much today. Okay, off you go then. Take her the Sakura bloom along with the check. And if she asks, tell her... Your child in a faraway land sends his best wishes. <laughs> 